Oh, there you go. We got the panther. Usually, most of the time, you see a panther. He isn't going to give you the opportunity to draw your weapon. Got the young lady there who didn't clean off the blood off her arrow, which is a bad idea because that blood will clot up and dull that arrow up. You got to make sure that thing gets a merciful kill. I can't. Yes, you can. It's never pleasant to take the life of an animal, but that's part of hunting. That's the reality. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Expert Reacts. My name is Tim Spike Davis with Scattered Thoughts Cartoons. I am an avid hunter, the world's greatest hunting cartoonist. And today you're going to watch me watch some hunting scenes from video games. God of War. Wait for my mark. It's giving him a pretty Do not think of it as interesting looking bow. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. There she goes. and teach this boy how to shoot. He's got a great anchor point. Whoever designed this knows exactly what it is to bow. Shot some mystical, looks like a cross between an elk and a reindeer. Finish what you started. Yep, you finish what you start. You, you kill it. You gotta make sure that thing gets a merciful kill. You gonna kill an animal? Make sure it's fast. I can't. Yes, you can. It's part of being a hunter. <laughs> It's never pleasant to take the life of an animal, but that's part of hunting. That's the reality, and he will get used to it. Understanding the gift and the reality of hunting and life and death and sustenance. It's not something that's easy to convey, but it's actually doing a pretty good, pretty good. And now this pig is just sitting there. I think, yeah, no, anchor point, anchor point. Yes, great form. This is a great and it's also great that this kid's got a mentor and someone to teach him. I wish I'd have had that as a kid. Well, something's laying there collecting a bunch of bugs and, well, carcass. Mrs. Uh, Tomb Raider over here is... Oh, got another dead body now. I don't know, something's eating humans. It sounds like a growling. Oh, there you go, got the panther. And you better get that arrow knocked up pretty fast because... Usually, most of the time, you see a panther. He isn't going to give you the opportunity to draw your weapon. But, and not that I have personally hunted panther, but of all the books I've read, and these are some very, very fast creatures. Oh. Yep. That jaguar would have had its claws around her, tearing her wide open, and she would have never gotten that second shot off on. But. She is. Oh, there you go. Another scratch. Now, the thing about these, a lot of these big cats is when they scratch you like that, their claws can be sepsis. And if you don't die from blood loss, you're going to die from infection. Oh, no, this, this cat. Nope. Nope, this cat would have tore this young turkey to pieces. And... Nope. Oh, man, she must have a strong. Oh, she stabbed it right in the ear with her pocket knife there. and... Somehow, mysteriously, she still has her left forearm. And the second cat is coming down. He's a little upset. It killed her buddy. He's letting her down a lot. See, now, cat's not going to just do that sniff on you. He's going to just tear your face right off. Bad. Yeah, no. No, I have never particularly been in a situation, yeah, situation where the cat, I've had to deal with an angry cat because of killing its buddy, but I doubt that that is accurate. This young lady's thinking, man, next time I come out hunting, I better bring something more than just a bow and arrow. Yeah, what on uh, earth? No, oh, what are you, what? Why don't you just walk over top of it? Yep. Yeah. And she must be wearing some type of special garments that this cat can't bite through. I mean, that must be some, like, Kevlar, spandex, yoga top that's made out of something amazing. Because this cat would have tore her up. She's got the cleric gun. And that's what it, If you're going to go cat and hunt, make sure you bring cat flare gun. Now she's got her back to her bow. 
And she's been holding that at full draw for quite a while here. And shot, shot the cat right in the face twice. I tell you, whatever she's wearing for garments, I wish I had. Because man, I mean, I get my my clothes get tore up all the time just from briars and sticker bushes, and this lady's palling a grown jaguar. Now she's either having a asthma attack or something, but she's got the cold air coming in, and she's stuck out in the winter, and she is completely underdressed. And she needs herself a good coonskin cap to keep her warm. Oh, we got the wild animal got her. And she's uh, hoping to walk away, which would make sense. There would be a wolf near a fresh kill like that. They wouldn't be too friendly to her uh, kill. They would take that as a challenge, but uh, she better get in there and get some whatever's left and walk off as fast as she can. Yeah, you don't want to be setting camp up near a kill like that. The wolves would be the territorial. The nice thing about that fire is going to keep predators away, at least hopefully. Oh, she's going to make a bow out of a stick she found laying around. I wish they were that e I have made many a wooden bow and they're not that easy to make. She's a lucky girl. She's got a light source on her, in her hand and here she goes. Oh, I'm going to run up to an animal with a light source and let it stand around long enough to shoot it twice. These, these, maybe she bedazzled that deer with that light. She was smart to get to high ground so she could look down. But she keeps running around like this in this crunchy snow. She's gonna alert every animal in the woods of her presence. This young lady's got what looks like a. Uh, the volume's a little high on this. Oh, she's got a deer she ran right up on. It was the, literally the dumbest deer in the world. Who just stood there letting her shoot her. But hey, you know, she, twice. Okay, well, she did the job. Now that the deer gave up pretty easily. Most of them went, now I don't know why she's got a rope looking string like that. That thing would shoot horrible if that was a real bow. But And she's apologizing to the deer. Which is, you know, a natural feeling. Of, Sorry I shot you twice. Now she's going to stab it a third time. Oh, please tell me she's not gutting a deer with a with an arrow broadhead. No, that is. I mean, if you were desperate, you could do it. But she should have brought herself a knife along. Oh, again. Oh, missed that deer. Yep. Oh, this deer is really confused. He would not be running. Oh, boy, she just shot him right in the butt, which is not a great shot. Uh, if you want to kill an animal fast, the, the object is not just to kill the animal, but kill him where you can get him to die as fast as possible. This woman has lost most of her arrows just randomly shooting at this deer. Well, this deer, unless there's a bunch of deer just randomly walking around, this deer is either really unlucky or does not know what he's doing. And I have no idea why this young lady is just allowing these deer just to lay there. That is extremely wasteful. Oh, there's another deer. It's unlucky. Crater hemp. Next shot. And, and she got, wow, this lady's fast with getting her arrows out and putting them up, knocking them. Now she is supplying all of the forest coyotes and wolves with food just lying around, going to waste. We got a little rabbit here. Probably a jackrabbit or a snow hare. Just got the arrow right through the uh, throat. Probably would have been doing a little bit more thumping around, but good shot. Got the young lady there who didn't clean off the blood off her arrow, which is a bad idea because that blood will clot up and dull that arrow up. She's going to sneak up on this white-tailed deer. She's got her bow. Nice little recurve there. There goes the white-tailed deer, and he is hauling butt out of there. She's going to be able to catch up to a white-tailed deer like that, and she's highly ambitious. That is what you got to do. You got to be confident in yourself. She's running uphill. Blood pressure's up, heart rate's up, breathing's hard. He has stopped and decided to have a little lunch after running away from this little girl, and she has got some of the worst form. Her anchor point is horrible on this bow. Somebody needs to teach this girl how to use an anchor point. If she draws like that, she you'd have to be five feet away to be able to hit a deer like that. No, 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 look at her anchor point. Horrible. Please don't tell me she hit that deer. Not seeing any blood. See her arrow in the snow, which... I have 
more than likely she would have lost that arrow in that snow, but it is a video game and she is lucky she found the arrow. Again, horrible anchor point. And, and she hit this deer who was running off. Hopefully she hit it in a good spot, even though she flung an arrow in that direction. But you know, she got blood. It's dark blood, so usually that means a uh, liver shot or something far away from the heart and lung area. She shot through a tree. She just keeps getting this thing to run off. Now, mortally wounded white-tailed deer would be able to run for about a county. I've seen blood spraying out like somebody that was shooting that out of a garden hose, and that deer still runs. So it'll be interesting if she's able to get up on this thing. She keeps scaring it. Oh, there it is again. Now she's going. Now for some reason this deer's got an arrow in him. He's bleeding on the place, but he's going to stop it. Maybe he needs to re-up his iron there, cause the blood loss. Now she shot and uh, hit it again. This is one unlucky white-tailed deer. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that too. He probably should have died from exhaustion at you running him down, but hey, looks like an old mining, old homestead area. Don't know if the deer would find that as a place to want to go high. She's like, oh, well, there she goes. Lucky young lady. Got herself a deer. Arrow and this wonderful, beautiful handmade arrow. Nice uh, broadhead. I just want to say, watching these videos, uh, it, it's all in the details. The God of War one was amazing. That seeing the whoever did that game knew the the actual mechanics of shooting instinctively and shooting a bow with a great anchor point. Those are the small things that matter to hunters when you see those details watching a video games. For more experts react, check out Gameology on YouTube and Facebook. So you can check out more of me on Instagram, Facebook, Tim Spike Davis, Scattered Thoughts Cartoons. I hope you guys all had a great time. I had a blast. Hope to see you guys next time.